Hi CTOP Techies, we're back with another video and we're going to be looking at the CTOP Manager today and what diagnostic abilities you have with the UPS 1600. Let's take a look. Let's begin by looking at the menu under Diagnostics, what options that we have. The very first option uh, is the ability to view pending alarms. Well, right now everything seems to be working just fine. Let me pull the fuse on the CTOP uh, UPS 1100 battery and see if we can generate an active alarm. What we have here already, so immediately it shows us some of the active alarms. Our diffuse is effective, I'm holding it in my hand, and we're showing that the ability to buffer has also been prevented. So now I will also re-add my fuse. What's interesting then, if we go continue to the alarm history, all of these different alarms that have been uh, generated over the time are saved. We have the ability to export them and also clear our history. If we continue on to our operating data, that's the splash screen. We can see here that the battery alarm is still being shown here and it was just cleared from the system. But this is an excellent overview of our UPS system. Not only do you have a one-to-one -one mock-up of our device that you would see if it were, uh, if you were in front of it uh, in the application, but also the uh, really the important data points for your device. This is an excellent tip for uh, customer support or also for um, any kind of uh, further requests on the system because we have all the really important data here. We have the MLFB, we have the exact serial number, uh, we have the software and hardware version, we have the current modus that it's running in, um, we have the ability to buffer, and then a number of different points, input and output voltage, battery charge level, and of course for each individual battery also the, uh, the important data points. So if we switch to the uh, next menu option, we have online functions. If we look to the firmware update, we are here with the ability to update the UPS 1600 firmware. Now these firmware data, uh, data files are available online on our support website, and I'll add the link here below. Um, it's always important to keep your, up, your device up to uh, the latest stand that you can always make sure that you have the highest uh, level of features being released. Uh, additionally, we have the ability to also reset devices. So uh, should it be that you forget your password, here we can always simply reset the device back to its factory settings as if you were to install it or get it from uh, brand new from the factory. So let's um, just take a chance and reset it and we can show that it's a, very, it's a relatively quick process and go back to our dice device settings and they've been resetted to the factory defaults. Siemens, ingenuity for life.